Okay. Are we live? I don't even know. I do not know what's happening now. Uh, let's see. Is this actually working? Okay. I am apparently live. All right. Apologies to everybody that was in the... Uh... Can you guys hear me okay? I, I have no idea how we violated a stream. Uh, you know. You can see, but can you hear me? That's the question. Okay, good. All right, so you guys can hear me. Ugh. Volume sounds good. Okay. So should we keep going with showcase or should we just try something else? You know, it might, honestly, it might have been just all that WWE like live action footage. I bet you that was, I bet you that was what did it. Like they thought we were like watching WrestleMania. Um, all right, let's, let's try My Rise. Yeah, Axiom's right. We can do My Rise. Nope, not falling for that trick again. Welcome to My Rise. Okay. All right, so this one is. I'm oh, sorry, Axiom. Which which one was the male and which one was the female? Uh, this is the male one, undisputed, right? Okay, yeah, I think this is. Yep, especially this time of year with Mania, like six days away. Yep, you're yeah, absolutely right. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Welcome to the bump. And okay, good. So the they're not chaotic, actually live action. Week in WWE history. I'm Byron Saxton. And I'm Kayla Braxton. Man, they actually went as far as to digitize Byron Saxon and Caleb Braxton. Universal Championship against Cody Rhodes in a brand versus brand main event at SummerSlam. Roman Reigns shocked the world and surrendered his title. The head of the table said that he's been beating up Cody for years now, and he has nothing more to prove. Now he's taking a Wait, so do you have to play this one as Cody? So his cousin, the or do you have to? He will be a bigger superstar there, too. With SummerSlam in disarray and the draft set to begin the night after. Triple H called for a one-night WWE Universal title tournament with selections from the GMs of both Raw and SmackDown. Raw GM William Regal named Cody as Raw's first entrant and said he was confident the title would be coming to Raw. I guess you have to play this as Smackdown's Cody. SmackDown's brand new general or, oh, manager Oh, okay, no, you blink your own. Didn't okay. find this awesome. He called the attempt to Wait, take did they just say SmackDown WWE general manager the Miz? Championship to Raw, nothing short of theft. And The Miz is in it to win it for his brand. He's sending a team of killers to bring that title home. Let's take a look. Kayla, we know what Braun Strowman brings to a fight. AJ Styles is always a threat. If you ask me, though, KO is the man to beat in this whole tournament. He's been hungry for the opportunity. Reigns has left him here. That sounds like he was waiting for crumbs from Roman's table, Byron. William Regal's entries are okay. no slouches. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion. Much of the WWE Universe believes this is Gunter's time, and Cody Rhodes has been looking to finish the story for a while now. That last slot, though, Kayla, what how long are they going to talk for? There? Am, am I watching? Is, is this God of War all of a sudden, or is this a wrestling stars. game? Raw's GM is going to make a match on the SummerSlam kickoff show for that last slot in the tournament. Your guy, Kevin Owens. I mean, I wouldn't call him my guy. Your guy is not going to know his opponent <sighs> until the winner Goodness, of what that the match, heck? and neither will we. Okay. I could skip it, sure, but, like, then I don't know what's going on. I just wished it wasn't as long as that was. It can boost your strength, because you're going to fight a lot of talky boys, okay? Wait, where's my created superstar? Like, do I have to, like, upload it or something? What, where's my... Oh, for the love of God, really? Is this the big Lebowski over here? Like, okay, so how do you actually import your your character into here? That's weird. Okay, 
If anyone knows anything about this, you have to create an Oh, no, nah, I am not doing that. <laughs> I am not doing that. Uh, you know what? Let's just let's just go through. Um, let's go through universe mode and play through a show and see what we're doing. Nope. Yes. All right. Thank you, Xavier. Uh, follow and take control of one superstar or classic mode. Oh, Cody showed up. I was hoping he would. Tutorials enabled now. It's fine. I know what I'm doing here. All right. Bronson Reed and Guntz. Let's see. Ugh. Oh, Johnny Gargano. Great. Everyone, I wonder if they simulate zero crowd noise for it. Jey Uso, Shinsuke, Cody, and Braun. Oh, I do love Alexa. All right. Let's go. I'll be Gunther. Hey, maybe we're gonna get a handshake. Here we go. Yeah, Are we getting a handshake here? Superstar is extending his hand and Oh, that Bronson Reed. He should know better than that. Things did not go as they planned. There is no reason. How disrespectful. But guys, you know, they should have known better than to take the bait. Yeah, it's clear uh, oh, there's a total okay. lack of respect. Oh, opening opening is the DDT and, and we know something yet. Okay, this is an AEW show. Couldn't even wait for the match to begin. First move of the match, DDT. And you know what? I respect what is my thought on the CM Punk like expose, sure AEW, and Tony Khan? Um, so I think that CM does. Punk was very earnest in uh, that interview. I think he spoke very honestly, which is not a thing that you're used like to, especially, you know, like you compare that to like the, the interview that Ariel did with Tony Khan. And he was like, you know, I can't legally talk about that. I can't legally talk about that. Well, Punk could talk about it, apparently. And, you know, it sounds like a lot of the... Um, and we're going to talk about this on Tony Talk Wrestling tomorrow night. But it sounds like a lot of the issues that they were having in in and around Punk was a lot of, you know, what Punk said. He said, you know, uh, I told Tony Khan, you know, and he gets you need to, you need to resolve ring. this. Because if you don't, then you're not going to like the way I resolve it. And, you know... And he did what he did. Oh you know, people found out the, how, how like an actual man resolves problems. It's not like, you know, guys like the Bucks and Omega, they, they used to, you know, politicking and, and shit talking like it's high school. And, you know, a guy like Punk, for all his, you know, whatever faults he might have, is not going to do that. Yes. Uh, I started watching Raw tonight. Uh, with Mrs. Movie Monster, and she was just oh, like, oh, wow, there. like, AEW has got, like, you know, AEW can only dream of a crowd like this. And, you know, I think in the beginning, they were getting bigger crowds, but, you know, it's just, if he can do that, is where it is now. Biggs. There we go. I love Gunther. He's Gunther. Um, and he's putting it into action with decisive attacks. He definitely, uh, you know, he he weeds out uh, Mrs. Movie Monster because he doesn't wear any like anything on his hands, nothing on his elbows, and she thinks that he looks weird, like he's almost naked. What's the rage? Is pumping, okay. And the WWE Universe is on the top. The air. Now the and second the elbow drop to the outside. Coming so, you know, we are in total AEW territory here. <sighs> Guther has that determined look on his face. Yes, Guther is definitely an old school heel. Oh, free Got finisher. Okay, okay. that makes sense. Thank you, Kenneth. Great sports entertainment rivalries. Way to put the cart before the horse, Cole. Sure, there's potential here. There always is, but they're not exactly having to be ripped apart from each other yet. Uh, you know what? The the announcing has gotten so much better in these games. 
than like the cringy like you know Michael Cole and Jerry Lala commentary of old. Like this superstar is uh is is wants to win this match or like just something really dumb. Did I hunt the Iggy? Did I see her in the comment? No, I, I haven't had a chance to look at the chat because I've been doing the match. So it's just kind of like whenever I look up, it's kind of like you know what I see. We're only up to two stars right now, guys. So you know. We were in the Tokyo Dome, though. We'd be at four at least by now. Good Lord. Yeah, SmackDown just bring that. I, I was, I played the heck out of that game. What we got going on here? Nope, not today. Not today, Satan. And we're gonna do a vertical suplex. There we go. Bronson Reed is just aggressively gross. Well, you know, I'm not. I'm not selling the hand. Is, is the problem here? I was not expecting that from him at this point. Pull right back in. Side slam. There we go. Come. Almost done with this. Come on. Oh, caught by the back elbow. We might be close to the end. And he has just taken an extraordinary amount of abuse. Yeah, I mean, the what I saw of Raw was good. Um, I stopped watching around 10. Uh, maybe a little before. I mean, I don't remember when I went live here, but that was when I stopped watching Raw. But I got a DVR, so I can fast forward around. Oh, there goes your knees. Maybe that'll teach you not to wear knee pads, Gunther. Took the high risk, but unfortunately, no reward. Man, if what I'm hearing is true, poor Walter. And gets tossed back into the mat. All right, come on, get in here, you big friggin'. You know, I I got Fight Forever for like a second from uh, Gamefly when I still had that, and I played one match on it, and I was like, I am not playing anything else on this. It was so bad. It glitched out like four times, and but you know what? If there's enough of a um, if there's enough of a interest from you guys, um, trying to wrestle free their opponents' arms. Enough of an interest, maybe I will have to get Fight Forever and stream it. There we go. Placed in the corner. Oh God! A charge of finishing. Hey, there we go. Is being measured. The ring general. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty excited for this year's WrestleMania too. Oh, come on, rope break. I mean, look, if I play Fight Forever, I'll be one of, what, like, 12 people in the world playing it at that time? So, one of which is probably Kenny Omega. Oh, okay, come on. Look this rope break. Can we stop? I punish yourself because I love you guys, and I want to give you guys the content that you want to see. Oh, come on. Ah, he's, a... he's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. Back, super out of the barricade. Honestly, uh, 2K, are you asking me how 2K24 feels? Um, solid. It is solid. Right? You opposition. hit the nail on the head Back there. It's, the um, it's very smooth. It was a big surprise to me because I hadn't gotten a wrestling game in so long. Oh. Um, I'm going to try to pin him off a Euro. See how that works. Maybe count. Beat him with a European uppercut. There we go. All right. Let's see what you guys have to say. I'll catch up on the chat here a little bit. Uh, can't wait for your video tomorrow. Love your voice characters. Can you do Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins voice? I don't have a Cody or Seth Rollins voice, honestly. Um... 
at least they've earned the respect of Hunter, every Hunter, I finally saw your other message. I, yeah, I don't know how to do... Uh, I, I don't know how to even... Like, they have to have a very distinctive voice. Like, I had a hard time figuring out a Tony Khan voice because his voice is just not that, like, you know... Like, um... Imitatable, I guess, if that's a word. Um, yeah, I'm not playing this. Uh... And just simulate that, whatever. Uh, simulate that. Not doing that, not doing that, not doing that. We'll do Cody and Braun. There we go. Wait, what what is Seth doing here? Uh, I don't care. Uh, let's see what else you guys have been saying. It takes the ref two full seconds to begin his count. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. Yeah, Tony Khan. The problem with Tony Khan is like I can't like do his voice like on a like on a stream or something like that because it, like I do like a high pitched voice for him, but then I have to like I like alter it digitally. Same with same with uh, Melza. The WWE universe just exploded. The I mean, one day we get puppets for the Kookamonga kids. And, oh, man. That would be the tonight. ultimate labor of love that I gave you guys if I made puppets of those two. Like, because I would have to sit there and I'd have to, like, look at pictures of them. And, like, the sight of this smug, smirking faces is annoying. So, man, that would be the ultimate. Uh, maybe when we hit 10,000 subscribers. How about that? I'll consider it. Uh, Imitate what culture's version of Seth? Just go hey, hey, hey. Well, you know what? What culture wrestling? All they all they do is uh, praise AEW. So, you know, I'm I'm actually going to be making um, the one I'm working on right now is Jericho. And then I'm working on two more that are going to debut first. And it's going to be, um, Cody Rhodes has been on a mission well, you know what? I'm not going to spoil to it. It's, it's not a wrestler, but it's like a thing that I've been talking about lately. Uh, something that, something I'll give you, it's something that made an, uh, an appearance this week on the headlines. And I'm going to actually make it like a visible thing. His father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. Well, it's like a waste of fabric family, if you make them. Though. Cody it does, it does seem like it would be a waste of fabric. I agree. Win tonight goes a long way towards that. It'd be funny though if they would like. It, uh, yeah, uh, Michael, you got it. it I, I am making some cancel pigs. Here comes the monster of all monsters. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm making uh, a couple of pig puppets, and I'm gonna give them like blue hair and stuff like that. Yeah, I never actually watch What Culture Wrestling. Um, I have a buddy who watches it, who hates it. I don't know why he watches it, because he hates it so much. But he'll, like, call me, and he'll be like, oh, my God, you'll never believe what they did, what they did now. Uh, R-Truth better win a belt at Mania. I agree. I, I agree he needs, to win a, he needs to win a title. You know, I will say, watching the... Um, Watching the Bray documentary, Braun Strowman was the one that actually like broke me in that. Because seeing him fall apart like a man like that, so I mean it's it was a lot. Oh my god, they make him he is a very large man. The only thing I I ever like say about Braun Strowman that I remember was he was on a I forget which podcast it was. Uh, I don't know if it was like Edge, maybe it was Edge and Christian or Jericho or something. But he, he talked he talked about like uh, an app on his phone where he mocks all the places that he poops. I remember he was like, and then I hit a button that says "bombs away." He'll stop at nothing as long as his heart is pumping. I gotta say that the torn pectoral match, the Hell in the Cell with Rollins, that has got to be the moment that made Cody Rhodes, right? Like, oh, solid kick across 
off the bat. Yeah, Houdini, you you really need to be like in a good place mentally to watch that because it is it is a rough watch. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. Scooped up, took the world slam. Now that's a bell ringer. It oh my like goodness! His path of destruction has just been cut short. Cody building his attack brick by brick. All right then. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Yeah, the last 20 minutes of the documentary are just... I mean, you t you're talking to his mom, you're talking to his uh, his wife, or his fiance, um, his, his brother, and it's like... It's a lot. It's it's very rough. Oh, flipping the script on him there. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top rope! Taken out from high above. You gotta be some special kind of crazy to do that. Look, no doubt Strowman is an intimidating superstar, but as history has shown, he's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. You definitely don't want to go head to head with him in the power and strength department, so outsmarting him is absolutely your best bet. I'm going to tell him you said all that. All right. Let's do this again. Oh, is that, yes, Microton is in it, but he doesn't actually like do a lot. No. I thought he was going to be in a lot more. Uh, his mother's in it a lot. But I, I have a feeling that Rotunda, like, whenever Mike Rotunda talks about it, it's, he's he's on the verge of tears, like, it, every time he talks. So I think that it was probably really upsetting for him to do. That was weird. Simple waistlock, but able to block into an arm drag. Yeah, I feel bad that Mike Rotunda got saddled with the game. Did you guys know, and I don't know if you heard, I, I, I forget if it was on my show or if it was on Phil's show, I, I yeah, the uh, Real American was actually written by Derringer for Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. It was not written for Hogan. So that was supposed to be their theme song. Did you picture Real American playing, and it's not Hulk Hogan coming out. It's, it's Rotunda and Barry Windham. Climbing the turnbuckle now. They were the tag champs at the time, so it makes sense. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Well, bombs away. Close line in the back of the neck. Braun has been cut down. He's pushed to the break. So, uh, yeah, I, I believe what you're going to see very soon. And I don't want to give any spoilers on anything. Um, I think you are going to see Bo very soon back in WWE, and I think you get to see him as Uncle Howdy. How impressed for you guys? Well, I was incredibly impressed by this superstar. Who? Uh -oh. oh, hang on, gentlemen. This superstar has oh, wait. entered the chat. A great deal of history between these two, and tensions are rising. Yeah, I definitely think you're going to see. Um, you will, you will eventually see him as Uncle Howdy back. Joseph Jackson. Yep, the wrestling album. That's where I learned it from. The wrestling album is a great listen. Uh, mean Gene saying it's the new theme for Wind of Everything. Yeah, yeah. Rhea Ripley. Uh, you know what? I'll play this one. Should I be Rhea or should I be Alexa? I do love Alexa. But I also love Rhea. This is a big decision, guys. I don't know which one to be. Uh, Shayna Baszler is a manager here. That's weird. Oh, repeat GP super chat. Thank you so much. Missed you on Toonie Talk. Uh, gotcha today. Thanks for the most hilarious YouTube content I've seen in eons. Can't wait for the next headlines and Punk's big aerial interview. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, uh, we will definitely be covering that tomorrow on Toonie Talk, and we'll also be um. All right, the first couple people, we got three people saying be Rhea, so I think I'm going to have to be Rhea. Uh, damn, now, see, now I just saw Alexa for Bray, and I should have done that. Yes, Ryan Damon got the uh, the line, Darren J, you should have buried yourself and stayed buried. Hey. Ripley. I'm looking the forward to bringing it to you, Reed. Uh, repeat. I guess that's how you say it. 
Uh, and thank you again for the super chat. So, so, so appreciated. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making and she is just ring. like otherworldly. Yeah, she doesn't really look like her. Like, it's kind of weird how they, like, like, they got a face wrong almost, I guess. A pile of championship. We're just going to skip this. It's dog from one of my favorite games. Alexa, the awesome experience. Uh, I love Spooky Alexa. Um, from Columbus, Ohio. Yeah, I, I bet you Spooky Alexa will be. Uh, but she's still carrying the doll. Competitors in the women's division, but she matches underrated power with hard I like Spooky Alexa a lot. I like the swing set. I like the whole thing. And main events to back up those claims. The doll should have been a playable character in this. Like, remember, I, it was one of the original PlayStation 1 games uh, with Head. Al Snow's Head was a uh, was a thing. He was a character in the in the game. Like, it was just a head, and it had, like, uh, it had like hands, and it had feet. But it didn't have any limbs or, like, a body or anything. Rhea Ripley. A woman who declares that there can only be one ruler in the women's division. And I'm sure you can make her, and I'm sure many people have. Ripley demands the entire women's um, division calls her mommy and declares the time for complete eradication has arrived. Why is Shayna Baszler up on the... I think Rhea will continue to get her... Yeah, they, I tonight. believe I, it wasn't Warzone. It was the one that came after Warzone, I think. I mean, I remember, like, as a preteen, like, sitting there waiting for that game to come out. Um... She's forced onto the defensive now. Ripley's displaying that cutthroat approach to competition, sparing no pity for her opponent right now. Just never had a chance. This feels like a bit of a mismatch. Of uh, uh -oh. Yes, little little Miss Kitten. Thank you. I believe it was SmackDown. Oh, um, no telling. What's Oh, it's a kendo stick. You know, Rhea Ripley is all about the I'll take it. Destroying her opponents in the ring. Wait, no, no, so I want that. Her on, I try to control the tempo and make her compete at my speed, not allowing her to find a good offensive rhythm. Not a bad idea. That might just be enough to throw her uh, for a game. Drop down, leapfrog. Nope. I dropped toe. Man, just do nothing but remove turnbuckles. Yeah, pretty much. Ripping their opponent down by the hair. Yeah, it was it was really quick after Attitude came out. Agonizing situation. Although it might have been an Attitude might be the one that I'm thinking of because Warzone was the first one. And Bliss got dealt a pretty significant blow that time. And you can just tell Ripley enjoyed delivering that punishment. Warzone still had Brett in it. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Mind the genius. I, that's I mean, I do. I do love Hornswoggle. I actually uh, emailed Hornswoggle to try to get him as a guest on the show. I haven't heard back any, from anything now. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of him, both from you know Muppet stuff and wrestling stuff. So, you know, I would love to have Dylan Postal on the show. Up and around and down, and Alexa gets out of dodge. Incapacitating the shoulder. Brutality on the mind of Ripley. Getting ready. Get to the gun. Oh, here we go. Here it comes. You know what game I thought was going to be amazing and then it came out and it was awful? Was um, WCW Thunder. I remember like everyone was like, oh, like this Thunder game is going to be so good. And it was just garbage. All right, hooray. To join in on the celebration. Well done, Ray Ripley. Show support after a hard fought victory. Yeah, that was pretty much a squash match. All right, let's exit this. All right, I think one more match will do. Um,
we will do um oh wait i didn't want to do that um yeah continue back let's go out of here uh wrestlemania oh, yeah we'll just do like a regular match one on one we'll do extreme rules We'll go to ECW One Night Stand. Nitro was great, especially with the cheats that unlocked all the characters and arenas. I the one thing I really liked in um it was uh oh god, well hold on, let me uh you know, mail. Now let's go what to E. Does he have like different uh like outfits or whatever? But alright, whatever. And then we'll do Yes, the video interview wins. Thank you, Ryan. I that's what I was about to say, and then I got distracted. Yeah, the, when because I remember Piper being like, "Pick me, pick." I heard Nash. Nash said, "Don't pick me, but I can smash Nash." Like, I I remember that like clear as day. Pick Hogan, put him to sleep three times. Why did they send? They got the NWO entrance, but they sent him out to his actual. Yes, I, I, I think I kind of threw the baby out with the bathwater on that. I didn't like really mention it, but yes, we are going to do Eric Bischoff versus Tony Khan. Extreme rules. In ECW for some reason. ECW one night stand, or six is one of the happiest moments of my life, turning into one of the saddest. Yeah. Uh, one night stand 05 is a perfect show. It's, it is unbelievable. 83 weeks. The handles business in the board. Like one night stand one night stand ending ring. with the ECW roster beating up and throwing out Eric Bischoff was like the ultimate uh it was the ultimate cl uh, closure for ECW because he was always like, you know, the ultimate so enemy. How we fires you. He said we coming back as an MMA <laughs> format in Netflix in 25. That would be Bischoff. something. All right. Oh, Eric's ready. Look at him. Yeah, now we're talking. Wise choices indeed, my friend. 06 is all right. You get Terry Funk, Tommy Dreamer. Buell. Yeah, I did like the Tommy Dreamer Beulah closure. Uh, Terry Funk. I mean, Terry Funk and Cactus Jack just kind of rolled around in Bob Wire. Um, <laughs> I, I laugh every time I see it. Look at him, he, looks, he just looks so disheveled. Oh, uh, yeah, some of you guys were in here earlier when we did, uh, when we had Tony out there. I love that the ECW fans are booing him. <laughs> it does kind of look like Howard Stern. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. Yeah, Tony Khan and Monty Gennetti have that in common, the, the lines. That. What is it? What do they have him doing? You play punk's music, I would just shoot run. Channing ECW for the owner of AEW versus WCW. <laughs> and there's sure to be playing. All right, here we go. Oh, Eric. These superstars have nothing but bad. Everybody was Kung Fu fighting. Everything and everywhere at their disposal to annihilate one another. Man, all of Eric's attacks are like kicks to the leg. 
All right, a hip toss. There you go, Eric. But sometimes you just got to toss another person and make a statement. Oh, wow. Oh, Eric's getting technical, but it is an Extreme Rules match. We are in ECW, so, you know, we have to do this. Oh, Tony's taking the... Uh, and now there's an opening. He's heading back to the ring. What the heck just happened? What is this? There we go, Eric. Now, Tony Khan is definitely one of those kids that bought like a how to do karate book He's taking uh, to the floor now. from the library. It was just like, yeah, this is uh, this is what I do now. Holy I'm going to I'm going to learn to be a karate master now. All right. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Heads out and he has Let's all look for. Uh, oh, you have garbage can. There we go. Time to take out the trash, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, we got a trophy for that. Okay. This is why you don't underestimate Eric Bischoff. With extreme rules matches, just about anything goes, and sometimes the end result all comes down to. Eric just do like a back kick. Oh, Tony, no selling like his Rasta. True. And now getting the ladder in place on the ring apron. And don't sleep on how dangerous a spot that is for a lot. Why is he bringing out a ladder? Up to the body with the chair. Yeah, no, nah, it's not happening. All right, get up. Get up. Get up, Junior. Pack to the gills here tonight in Manhattan. We've got some very rapid, <laughs> oh, for the love of God. WWE ECW fans in the house tonight. You should probably be worried, Saxton. Just keeps jamming him with it. You, are. you can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. This is getting scary now. Oh, there we go. This, much. this doesn't even look like trying to win a match anymore. This looks like This is like the physical game version game. of what Eric did when he went live on uh for that. Oh Uh, uh, yeah. Why is this ladder like set up like this? I... Did somebody, right, <laughs> one of the one of the simulated crowd just yelled out, "Nobody likes you." <laughs> I think they were yelling at a toonie. Oh boy! All right, is he coming out here or not? Taking this outside. This could be good. Uh, come on, let's go. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Hit the spotlight. He's got his hands on oh, he's got a sledgehammer. That's adorable. Chaos is about to be unleashed. It was definitely not a stage like this for one night stand. Was oh, there's the commentary table. Thank you for bringing me this sledgehammer, though, Tony. Oh, count it. Don't you kind of miss JBL on commentary? I'll no tell you, Maggle. His name was Maggle. M-A-G-G-L-E. Right All right. What are we going to do here? Leapfrog. There we go. Not happening. All right, Eric, what do you got? Snap, man. Uh... Oh, there's, there's some of that Tiger Shulman's karate, Eric. There we go. When it's real, you have to sell. All right, let's see what Eric can do up on top. Sky high. Oh, oh my goodness. And now Bischoff is stalking. Oh, oh, oh. Can Bischoff 
I think that's it. Is it? Good job, Eric. All right, you know what? I'm going to do one more with um, with me as a character. With, with, you know, so I think some people didn't. Uh, I love Eric's little like like karate pose that he does there. All right, let's see. One on one. Let's do a Hell in a Cell, maybe. I don't even know what I'm doing in a Hell in a Cell here, but Great American Bash, Halloween Havoc. I do like Halloween Havoc, but that's NXT Halloween Havoc. Uh, oh, there's WCW. I did that one earlier though. You do the War Games. Does it have? Does it have two? Uh, All right, let's see here. It's just should not be having this hard of a time picking a arena. All right, there we go. All right, let's see. Going created characters will be me. Then we'll go. Should we do Toonie? Should we do Trip? Should we do? Who should the opponent be here, folks? We could do we could do Toonie again, but I don't. Yeah, if the joke is already old from him, go, trip. Okay, we we did this one earlier, but a lot of you guys weren't here, so we can do this one again. Let's see, oh, Uncle Howdy's in the game. I didn't even know that. Vader, Wade Barrett. Let's see. I didn't even see her. Oh, Gyokozuna's in the game? I didn't even know that. There we go. All right, you know. We'll just do Toonie. Yeah, more people are saying Toonie, so we'll do Toonie. He's had this one coming for a while, folks. Here we go, guys. We're in the cell, too. I don't even know what I'm doing in the cell, but... Thank God it's not the red cell. In a cell match. Making his way to the ring from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Weighing I picked Asbury Park because I'm a Bruce Springsteen fan. Marvin but it's also kind of uh, Bam Bam Bigelow. We were just watching uh, WrestleMania 10 and Nobody just seeing Bam Bam perform again got me, uh, if you had one, I'd hit a long got me a little, uh, yeah. Can you pause it during the match so we can see what TK Sigs and I mean I'm not playing as him, but if we can still see it, we can we can look. And here he comes. Yes, I made me. I did not make Tony Khan. Tony Tony Khan is the uh, is a community creation that I found. It's pretty that's pretty good. Yeah, definitely Bam Bam. Bam Bam is just so good. Like he he should not have been able to move the way he moved. That's like Bam Bam or Boss Man or Guys, this match I it really should be too scared. Holy God. And it's because of this level of talent. Wrestling and Savior and he's the bomb. Yeah, he's TK. Tony Khan. Giving wrestlers hugs and he might be on drugs. Yeah, he's TK. All right. Yeah, let's. Uh. Thank God it's not the red cell. I hate the red cell so much. Well, Tony, we always knew it was gonna, we always knew it was coming to this. The combatants are. All right, so moves. I guess. Uh, let's see, these are, are these mine. Oh, there we go. Tony Khan. Running Hurricane Rana, an Avalanche Bulldog, a Standing Shira Nui. On ringside. Uh, Let's see, Dragon Twist Cutter, Stun Dog Millionaire. Oh, that's racist. Give him that move. Dragon Twist Cutter, Standing. Okay, so he's got a lot of like kickity kicks. Stun Dog Millionaire. <laughs> super, super racist, guys. Uh, 
Locked inside Hell in a Cell. This is a nightmare. No one can escape. Abandon. Yeah, I used the Dutch Mantel uh, beard because it, it, it gave my, it gave the face like the, you know, the shape of my head. The Devil's Playground. Didn't say to get back in the ring, Tony. Oh, okay, so it's an Orange Cassidy move. That makes You'll sense. Lucky if this is the worst he suffers in the cell. I don't like Orange Cassidy because he is an uh, insult to wrestling and the color orange. Ringside area Hell in a Cell is very narrow. Your moveset has been adjusted to work within the content constraints of the environment. Okay. Strike your opponent. Hold L toward the apron of cell wall and press X to grapple Irish with your opponent by using okay. Well, now the outside, to... right by those cell walls. Oh with authority. Oh. Get up, Junior. Boom. Oh my these oh. consecutive attacks have him reeling in this situation he has to get resourceful is he he's not following me out okay Maybe if i taunt him can i taunt no apparently not out here i can't whip him into the cell and right oh okay right oh for the love of god did he really just calf kick me oh, man. A, oh hey neckbeards I hate Orange Cassidy because he's an insult to wrestling and the color orange. Both things that are near and dear to my heart. You have to be willing to leave your humanity behind. Become the most vicious possible version of yourself because that's what it takes to win inside Hell and Cell. All right, trying to whip him into the cell so that it breaks. Let's see what we got here. Can we do it? Breaking the cell wall. All at ringside during Hell in a Cell match. Use ringside attacks and Irish whips. Wants to break sections of the cell wall. Okay. Oh, oh. oh my God. Is Mr. Sacco in this game? Because I would totally do that because that makes so much sense. Come on, Tooney. Get up. Just want to get out of the cell. Work with me here. Go through the cell. Stop falling. Oof. 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 Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Landing the uppercut. Oh, I guess Brian Danielson's been teaching him those European uppercuts. Well, maybe Jay Lethal, but I'm pretty sure Jay Lethal learned them from Brian Danielson. So, what's he open to find down there? Now it's really about to get interesting. Thank you, Tony. I'll take that. Oh, sorry, referee. Standing Spanish fly. How fuck could JYD have gone if he'd stayed in shape? Um, I mean, it depends. I Vince, you know, if he had stayed in mid south, I think you know he could have. Gosh, I don't even know. Like Vince was not putting the belt on on the dog. Not during the Hogan. Not definitely not during the Hogan era. It wasn't going to happen. Um, but I mean, the dog is one of my favorites of all time. So I would have loved to have seen him do more in the WWF than he did. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Series of reversals. These two showing how well um, they each are. Actually, just rewatched the uh, Junkyard Dog episode of Doc's Side of the Ring the other day. I had to rewatch the uh, the Candido and Tammy one for the the face lock feature, the one about the. Um, the there we go. All right, I guess we're out now. Jeez, who built this thing? 
Ugh. Here he goes up the side of the structure. Oh, Tony, I don't think you want to do that. Insanely stupid or smart. Uh, kind of a mix of both. Yeah, how do I climb the cell? I don't want to do that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Hogan definitely smothered any other baby face from that time. You're absolutely right. It, oh my god, if he throws me off the cell, I'm gonna be so mad. Wait, was that much of a dark side of Harley Race? I don't. I mean, maybe there was stuff that I don't know. It's definitely. Oh shit. How did I finish? But much like his Rasta, I'm not selling it. They got up there, but how are they going to get down? I don't know if they thought that far ahead. There we go. All right, how do I actually like throw him? Guys, we know just how dangerous Hell in a Cell can be, and we're seeing it up close right now. Oh, nothing good ever comes from fighting on top of the cell. Can I actually throw him off there? Because I don't think the. Come on, get. Oh, get off the damn cell. Harry animation. Oh, yeah, maybe that. Whatever's plan here can't be good. Oh, oh, all right, that didn't work. Do something about this. What's anybody going to do, Saxton? You go up there and try to reason with him. Planning on what to do next. Oh, 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 slam. All right. Is, will it say it here how to do it? No, I guess not. Punch him into a stagger. Oh, yeah, that might be it. Seen part of the cell break apart. No telling what more can break apart is now these athletes are taking their chances in a very you know, one man Spanish fly. You imagine Tony Khan actually like flipping around like this. What the hell? Go, go, go. Oh, 25 feet above the ring. This has catastrophe written all over. Wait, hold on. Houdini just, I think, is telling me how to do this. So let me look at what he said. Walk to the edge with him carried. Then it will prompt you to hit X. Okay, cool. This is too much, but I can't look away. Got to find a way to get out of this. Prompt you to hit X. It did not prompt me to hit X. Oh, oh, he fell off. Well, I guess it should, I guess it should climb down now. Well, all right, Tony, let's go back in the let's go back in the ring. Come on, walk it off. You know, you know, one of your roster members would be He's nipping. Uh, see, the there we go. It's exactly like his roster. Right, back in the ring. Let's go. Are you really? Are you climbing? Tony, I'm, I'm getting back in the ring. This is not happening. Let's get back in here and let's do this. I'm taking you whooping like a man. I tried to I tried to jump and I couldn't. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. My God, Tony Khan is going back up. It's over. Amazing execution. The cover. Gets the win in a brutal hell in a cell match. This is a two popcorn episode. <laughs> And that's 
a textbook win. A lot to be proud of there. He is definitely a superstar to watch in the weeks to come. That was a spectacular performance. I was trying to slam through the top. I don't think he can. Yeah, this is a small arena, so it might not have been the best for this. Maybe I should play one as Tony Khan. It was just like a normal match. Punk's not in the game, right? Oh, I think I got the I got the grudge match that needs to happen. All right. Oops, hold on. How dare you leave me? I'll show you. Hey, Ernest, thanks for dropping in, buddy. Oh, we got a super chat. Hold on, I didn't even see. Uh, Desire Death, thank we you very much. To Tony just cut 10 good. people. There goes the we won't be doing roster cuts statement. Yeah, I've been on here this time, this whole time, so uh, I have not seen it yet. So once I log off here, I'll take a look at it. We'll be talking about it on Tony Talk tomorrow night. Yeah, Punk being DLC, I think, is uh, definitely a possibility if it hasn't even already been announced. Um, and Desire, thank you so much for that super chat. Um, good Lord. So I was thinking about for, like, the first actual, like, like game game to play. Like, not, that's not a wrestling game. I was thinking just trying to do, like, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or our remake kind of going through the story and commenting on it. I think that might be fun. Uh, I don't know. I got, a, I got a whole bunch of others. I could do Final Fantasy 16. I could do uh, God of War. I could do uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Like, a whole bunch of stuff. I so. not envy the task at hand for this superstar. You are facing a man with all the momentum in the world in Cody I mean, look, at the end of the day, I, I think I said this before on the stream before we got cut off. Uh, they had to make these roster cuts because they otherwise, how the heck else are they going to afford Mercedes Monet and Will Osprey and all of those others? The Baldur's Gate 3, I, you know, a friend of mine wanted me to try it and I got a, like a, I think I downloaded like a um, trial of it and I never, I never tried it. Um, it looks, it looks very D&D &D and like I'm not really like into D&D. &D, so... Maybe I'll do Mass Effect first. I can maybe I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll vary it up. Hey, that's all right, man. I'm in my 30s too, and uh, you know, I I just you know housed my way through Mario Wonder. So, isn't the point of AEW the infinite money cheat code? Yeah, I mean I thought so. Kind of weird though. You played Red Dead. Yes, I do. I love Red Dead. I love Red Dead. We will eventually do Red Dead. And a main eventer. Those are all great things to be, Saxton. But we all know what Cody truly wants to be more than. How dare you leave me, you son of a bitch! We've got. Stupid meanie butthead. They might be intentions, but only time will tell if he's a man of his word. But he is standing across the ring from the American nightmare. Oh goodness, right into the ropes. Universe fully behind him, who will fight until his last breath. Who has no problem standing up to the biggest guy in the yard and giving him everything he's got. All right, come on, get up, Jimmy. Get the hell up. There we go. Cody. Huh. Horse forearm draped across the middle rope. Oh, man. And down. Oof. 
Climbing up top, he's got There we go. Oh, that was a heck of a splash. He sold he sold the ribs too. He's already better than his entire roster. A major moment here tonight for Cody Rhodes. How do you think he should approach this contest? Oh, Cody Rhodes there we go. always meets the moment. He has never shirked from a hey, challenge. Mom, was that you singing in the You'll Be Back parody? Make this uh, <laughs> no. Uh, that, that, I, I uh, outsourced that one. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Perfect. That's what you get for trying to do push-ups in the middle of the match. But on Patreon, one of the things that I'm going to be doing is uh, we're, we're going to put all of the... Uh, Song parodies out um, where an actual singer sings them so they can actually sound good. And there's the kick out. Doesn't bow well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Placed into the corner. Oh, a drop kick. Cody is losing command in this one. Cody Rhodes has to trust his instinct. At this Cody doesn't point. do the bite. Yeah, he doesn't. The, he does the jabs, but he, I don't think he does the bionic elbow. That's. Oh man, Tooney is like all Big over him. It's like a grudge match of the century, man. Oh, right out the rank. Damn it, Aubrey, stop counting. Wait, you're not Aubrey. I barely noticed you. What kinds of other wrestling do you have? Oh. What content other than wrestling do you have planned uh, for the Patreon? Okay, he's Let's see. I just got him excited for what you got coming. We're, we're going to do a lot of things. Um, a buddy of mine who's going to be on Tootie Talk tomorrow, um, Kevin Apollo, um, who's like my favorite new friend, is uh, we're going we're to be doing some watch-alongs for matches and stuff like that on, on uh, Patreon. I'm also going to be doing reviews of like movies and TV and games and also I might even do some live streams that are kind of exclusive to Patreon. So. Um, I think I might also make it a tier in Patreon. Uh, part of the Patreon is, uh, you know, if you've got a PS5 and the game that, and I'm playing uh, like Hell Divers or something like that, you know, I'll, I'll pick who who my potty will be based on Patreon. Or something. I don't know. It's an idea that I'm playing around with. Despite my, uh, you know, me trying, not a lot of my friends are playing. Uh, And not a lot of them playing Hell Divers. Which, by the way, Hell Divers 2 is fantastic. Oh, Cody counted. It does have crossplay, actually. I think you're right. I thought this one might, which, you know, would have been good, um, but apparently it doesn't. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, Tooney with the counter. And Cody with the counter. My friends are enemies of managed democracy, and I've been saying that for years. Man, Cody is a counter machine here. You know what? I kind of don't even want to win. But, you know. Oh, what are we doing? Alabama Slam up. Bob Holly. This is where endurance. There's someone criminally left out of that game. Yeah, not today, Cody. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Boom! Oh, Cody anticipated that. Yes, you know what's really funny is uh Wade, Wade Barrett on commentary, uh, they were sponsored by like Pringles or Ruffles or something like that in one of them. And it was very clear that Wade Barrett would rather eat a, a cat toad than eat a potato chip because they were all like eating the chips on the pre show for the pay per view. And Wade Barrett 
he ate one chip and like it looked like it was painful for him. Whereas like Booker T was like, you know, shoveling them all in his mouth. From the heavens, splash from the top. He may get the three count right here. This is it. And for some reason, oh, no. he Tooney, the count. Tooney's lighting them up. Because we're gonna we're going up top. Or we're, we're gonna try to go up top. Oh really? He doesn't have a I thought he had a Is locked in the crosshairs now. Adrenaline in my soul. Something, something, Cody Rhodes. Oh, really? He's kicking out. Oh, I'm sorry, I keep doing that move. It's so dumb. Uh. Good Lord. All right. What else you got here, Tony? Cody's tied up here. Oh, an X Factor. Hoping to end it here. This is it. There we go. That'll teach you to leave me. All right, let me, uh, I think we're going to close up here. But I just want to take a look at the chat, make sure I didn't miss any supers or anything like that. Um, let's see. Gasket match, Cody, Punk going to be DLC. I'm just seeing what, whatever you guys all said. Was that an X Factor? Was it the edge of my, you know what? I, I don't, I don't really know the difference between the two. I probably should, but I don't. Uh, when I played it a second time, I want to shoot Micah so much. It won't let you. Yes, I, I, you know, John JD, I, uh, in Red Dead Redemption 2, I get to that. Where he's like, you gotta help me, Morgan, when he's in the jail cell. And I'm like, no, I don't really think I do. Uh, Chesk is the ref. Uh, well, that's another than ref. Okay, we answered that one. Um, he's a Brit and American chips are garbage to them. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Booker T is so hilarious. His podcast is the best. Um, yeah, Booker's doing a great job. Counting is wild. Don't even have no Canadian. No, he didn't do a Canadian destroyer. That's a little weird. Um, Edgematic is a reverse. Okay, yes, so it was an X Factor. Um, all right, guys. I think this was a pretty okay uh, first game stream. I'm a fan of how this went. You know, we had a nice group here. Uh, good conversation some decent gameplay uh so next time we will be doing an actual story-based game and uh yeah that should be fun so uh hope you guys will tune in uh toonie talk wrestling tomorrow night 8 p.m uh eastern standard time we're actually gonna be having mish from uh wrestling soup is gonna be coming on uh so he's gonna be hanging out with us he's gonna be on the panel he's gonna be talking uh it's gonna be me disciplinary committee awful wrestling um Kevin Apollo, who you guys haven't met yet, Mish, and uh, Phil from Pro Wrestle Times might be popping in, in here and there. So we got a lot to talk about tomorrow night. So hope you guys will be there. And uh, all right. I got out of here.